Let's look at the five ways you could use AI in your class discussions using the Parlay Genie. Anywhere where you see this lamp icon, that's basically a Genie feature that's been placed there to help you out. The first one, it's the ability to create higher order thinking discussion questions based on pretty much any topic. Any topic you're working on in your class, you could write it out in as much detail as you'd like. You can also use an article or a video as stimulus, and the Genie's going to come up with higher order thinking questions that can spark discussion amongst your students. Um, the second piece is you will now be able to provide the option for students to get feedback on their writing in the written roundtable prior to them submitting their ideas. So when they're initially responding to the discussion questions, they can now click the little lamp, ask for feedback, and it's going to give them some strengths and some areas for improvement on their submission based on the criteria that you've set out in your criteria for the discussion. The third one is now you have the ability to sum summarize a written roundtable. At the end of a written discussion, you can now hit Genie Recap, and it's going to take all of the ideas from the discussion, synthesize them into a paragraph. So we could really easily, at the end of a discussion, read that paragraph and get a general sense of what the discussion was about and what everybody actually shared in the discussion. The fourth one is you'll now be able to create those follow-up discussion questions and use them as a follow-up informally within your current written roundtable. So maybe you don't want to spin up an entirely new written roundtable or a new verbal roundtable. You just want to provide that extension option, maybe for some of your students who are finished early and they're ready for those deeper dive questions. You'll be able to facilitate that right within the same roundtable. So if you have students working at different times, then you could still keep them all in the same discussion, uh, just to allow for that extension. And then the last feature is the ability to assist the teacher with written feedback. So this is kind of similar to the student feedback, but it's going to happen at the end of the discussion. So after the discussion has gone on, after students have shared their initial ideas, and after they've commented on all of their peers' ideas, then when the teacher's going and assessing and giving feedback, you can actually click that lamp icon, and you'll be able to review all of their participation against whatever criteria you were looking for, and then it's going to draft out a couple sentences worth of feedback for that student. It's not going to send it to the student right away. The teacher will still be able to make any changes to that feedback and then send it to the student. And those are the five AI features inside of Parlay. We'd love to hear what you think.